Hi, let me show you how the RS Explorer version 5 uh, works. So this is our latest uh, lighting system uh, that we have released this year. And it comes this time it comes with a cable that is connected to the camera. Now depending on what camera you have you'll have a different cable that fits maybe on the hot shoe. But it's designed so that the camera can signal to the lighting system when you're going to be taking a photo. Now let me just show you how to switch it on. So what we do is we make sure... Yep, yeah, actually sorry, that was already switched on. So now you, you just switch the lighting system on first, then the camera, and then you come and place it on the person's face. You half press, and then you fully press and it takes a photo. Now I don't know if you noticed, the lighting actually went up just before you took a photo. So let me do that again here. I'll take a photo of my finger. Oops. There we go. So what the this is, is it's designed so that when you've, you're placing the camera in the position, the light level is very comfortable. We've we reduced it to, I think, about 15 or 20% of the, the, the full lighting level. Um, and it, it's just, it's more than enough for you to be able to see what you're doing when you're taking the photo. But when you're actually ready to take the photo, it goes up to 100%, uh, and the, the quality of the image is uh, an, another step up. Like, I don't know if you can see the, the, the demonstration images of dark irises. I'll show you some now. Now, those dark irises are from somebody who's originally from Martinique, uh, and he's got very dark irises. They, they more or less look black when you're standing and looking at him. Um, now, the importance, uh, another important feature of the RS Explorer uh, version 5 is, I don't know if you can see here, let me try and get it a bit closer. Mm, no, you won't see it on the video here, but I'll show you, like when you look at the images, you'll see that the reflections of the LEDs is actually showing you double LEDs. So we've got two LEDs on each side and they're specialized LEDs with overlapping uh, a light spectrum so that the the bright uh, the white light is more white, like the, the color spectrum is more broad. And the reason why this is so important is when you actually take a photo um, today and you take a photo in five years time, you wanna make sure that the, the lighting is as accurate as possible. So you could potentially see changes in the iris uh, over time. Now there's a lot of iris photos online showing changes but the color spectrum, it needs to be respected. This is a very important fact. And if we want to be doing research and making iridology progress over time, this is one of the key things that needs to be done is having accurate lighting. Um, the next uh, features, well, actually, the before, you can actually switch the light on and off on one side. So you can do side lighting. Uh, there we go, just like before, and the flashing will keep on working. The uh, yes, so the camera comes like if you buy the full package, the camera comes fully programmed, so that all the settings are put in here. But I'm going to make a video to show you how to do it yourself if you've got your own camera or if you if you need to reset the lighting system. But the the settings, uh, especially the white balance settings, it's very important to keep them exactly how we say it needs to be. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, send me an email. Thank you.